Why the debate continues. Re the Bartholomew brothers. Ben the uh, Libertarian, our, our buddy and his brother, arrested by the coppers for it's not clear what. Convicted of delaying an officer because they delayed them, I guess. Um, let's see. Jess writes, oh, he says, Michael, get don't tase me, bro, ready. Dear Jacques and Gio, watching the video, I'm not crazy about the cop's grasp of legal boundaries regarding signs on overpasses, masks, and the literal inclusive definition of blah, blah, blah. blah. They I just had to tell the 60s wannabes, move, you're loitering. Having trained with cops from various agencies, etc., I learned early on, do not argue with cops, period. After seeing this video, I have to side more with the folks who may not return home at night after making a simple traffic stop. For these two masked nimrods, about two minutes in any reasonable person would have been lingering near the handle of a taser. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't tase me, bro. Those two fools trying to ride the, but I am a protester train, took about eight minutes too long to show their faces. Sorry, I have to side with the cops when you're just plain annoying, wearing a mask like all the D-bags who do not want to show their faces at Occupy or other protests. Um, for that, we do need outlaw masks. Nobody has a right to that much privacy. Why were they wearing a mask? Uh, it's political theater. They were wearing the uh, the, uh, the the Guy Fox mask. Um, What's it's a not guy unreasonable th- for an officer to ask for an ID. It's that mask that everybody wears at the damn protests with the, the mustache and the... The white face. I thought that was a Frenchman. Uh, I don't I don't know. Hmm. Is it a French? Didn't he blow up Parliament? He wanted to blow up Parliament in England? I don't have any idea. Yeah, he's English. Yeah, 1500s, uh, effort at a revolution in England. Hmm. <clears throat> and on this, on the other hand, Maggie and Vallejo. I made my husband watch the video of Ben and his friend. He is a straightforward, totally un-PC kind of guy with a military background, 20 years as a deputy sheriff. Here's what he said. The hanging of the banner was illegal per some vehicle code, but the responding officers were not sure if Ben and his friend were committing a crime, could not articulate such. Therefore, there's no probable cause to stop and question them. Uh, you do not have to identify yourself until you are actually booked for a crime. As such, the whole notion of hindering or delaying goes out the window. If you cannot definitively tell me I'm being detained for a crime, I have no need to ID myself. I'm sure you'll have other law enforcement viewers say that I am full of horse pucky. But my husband did also say the CHP officers, I think it was, it was, uh, was it CHP? Should have been able to figure out if it was a crime and that the female cop that showed up was way, way out of line and probably engaged in unlawful search and seizure by taking their camera. I would have said angry lesbian with an axe to grind, but that's just me. Wow. I've been married to a deputy for almost 20 years. I assumed you had to blah, blah, blah. Uh, Wow, thanks to you guys and further discussion with my hubby. I know this is no longer the case, that you have to ID yourself anytime a cop asks. Thanks for elevating the discourse on this, enlightening me in the process. You're so very you, welcome. So you don't have to? Uh, according to this uh, deputy. I don't. I, you know what? See, I'm going to. But I'd like to know if I have to. I'm going to take a stand for freedom. It's surprising to me that this is not more uh, clear cut. Yeah. And widely known. Yeah. On both ends. Yeah. Are they annoying fellows in that self-righteous protestery way? Oh, yeah, clearly. I see signs signs on overpasses all the time. Go Aggies. Right. Sure. For instance. Go Bears. Beat University of Spoiled Children. Come on now. 